Okay, so hello. Hey to my little four followers, so <laughs> many subscribers, and hey to me because this is really for me. But, um, so yesterday's video was day three of me sitting at home, <laughs> you know, just like going through the emotions and stuff like that, <laughs> which is weird. It's not even weird though, it's just. It's, it's just that this this breakup this journey me like like learning myself it's so crazy like so i gave myself three days at home to re like recuperate to cry if i need to you know scream if i need to i mean I, i've been crying but i haven't been like boohooing like how, how, how hard i was in the beginning you know my body is becoming numb but my heart is still like hurting it's basically it basically feels like i'm walking around with a bad feeling but times two and i have bad feelings all the time so me feeling this way is it's just weird i don't know and and yesterday as i was making that video i was just like this is gonna take me a while to get a therapist because you waste playing i might as well just start using youtube and only got four subscribers so i might as well and I said every video that I, you know, post, I'm going to do a reflection from yesterday's. And yesterday's reflection was that I was still hurt. Don't get me wrong, I'm still hurt today. But I was just like, I need to start saying this out loud. Like, you know, like, because the more, like, if I start to deny it, what healing am I going to get? So today I decided to get in the shower. Now, don't get me wrong. I take a shower every day. Like, on the niggas, like, I take a shower every day. And I didn't take one yesterday because... You know, I was just sulking. But I got up, I took a shower, I put my slick back in, you know, my Monday through everyday hairstyle. And I got up and I said, I'm going to go to work. I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm going to come to work and I'm going to, you know, because you got to continue your day. You can't just keep wobbling for the rest of your life. So I'm going to come to work. And if I feel sad, I'm just feel it. If I feel mad or hateful or lonely or if i feel like i just want to be his ass i'ma feel it if i want to miss him i'ma feel it if i want to hate him i'ma feel it if i want to love him i'ma feel it like i'm just gonna feel all my emotions like and and because i'm like i'm not telling nobody <laughs> i mean i'm still not telling a lot of people though but i told my you know my immediate and my two little friends but it's just like i don't want to keep telling the story though like we broke up he cheated on me now i'm healing <laughs> like that's how that's how i wanted to be like you know like and then what's so crazy like because um this morning i got up and i took the shot glass that he used to like to drink out of and i went in the backyard and i threw it and before i threw it i just said with this glass i released all the anger i released all the pain i released like well i didn't say all i just said some because i can't release it that fast that's just not who i am like i released some of the pain i released some of the hurt i re i released some of the love you know i released some of this friendship this relationship like i just released everything you know like i released for feeling like you know a dummy i released you know me feeling like i sh you know like i saw signs and i still say but at the end of the day you can't feel like no dummy because when you in love you do stuff like love is just what love is like yeah love is hard and love is easy all oh, love not supposed to be hard and all oh, love not supposed to be easy i guess whatever but love is love who the fuck even know what love is at this point and plus i don't i don't want to keep being just you know angry and closed off and not being able to like express myself because I, I i guess i don't know i guess i felt like expressing myself or needing somebody's help i was I don't know, I just never, I don't know, I just never felt like I had people or I had someone to help me. I have family, don't get me wrong, I have a great support system. I know them bitches is there for me, but me being me, I just felt like, you know, like me telling my feelings or how I feel is just going to, it's not going to be valid. You know, so I always just kept my, like how I feel to myself and stuff. And that's why this time around, I'm not doing it. I don't want to do it. I want to, I want to, I want to let stuff go. Like, I want to learn how to be mad at somebody and learn how to let it go at the same time, too. Like, I just want to. And there was, and then another thing that's crazy is that I was going, I was going to leave Wednesday because I already knew that our relationship was rocky. And I was like, maybe if I leave, you know, maybe he'll try to fight. You know, like with me staying at my parents' house, he would be like, all right, let me step up, let me go, and stuff like that. But pl the plan didn't go according to that. No, it just didn't. I just I just woke up out of my sleep, and it's like, he been texting weird. Like, who texted like this? Like, somebody texted like this, you're going you gonna, you gonna to think and feel some type of way. So, 
when I did it, I was just like, damn. You basically, I, I don't know. Like now, I feel like he stopped loving me a long time ago. I feel like basically our whole relationship, he been cheating on me. Um, you know, and I just been, I don't know. I think I just been ignoring it or something like that. I was just like, oh, well. <laughs> and the sign's been there for a long time. A very long time. A long time. But if it don't rain, my plan is to run. My plan is to feel my emotions. My plan is to keep going on with my day. My plan is to is to still, you know, feel emotions but don't dwell on it. You know? <laughs> Cause it's it's just weird. And then I feel like the cousin did a post and delete. But you never know if somebody's talking about you or not. But it was just it was just like, but did you die though? And then like the hashtag was like take it personal and stuff. Now don't get me wrong, I don't know if that was for me, but I'ma take it personal. Because for one, like you you saying like, but did you die though? But bitch, this my heartbreak. You know, this my first breakup. Like, this my relationship. Like, I'm not coming. Like, I can say a lot of things, but I'm not because I don't know if that was for me or not. But don't don't be talking about some. But did you die, bitch? I could be hurt. Like, if I want to sub tweet, I can sub tweet. Even though I'm not sub tweeting no more. Like, I'm done putting up messages. I'm done. Like, you know, putting up a crime messages because y'all should see my sport page. My sport page don't have nothing but depressed ass quotes sad relationship quotes oh fool <laughs> instagram sandals and some hairstyles but i have no funny nothing on my explore page you know so i don't know i think i think i'm just gonna use youtube to ramble until i get my therapist or but no i might as well record my journey because i can look back and be like damn a year ago i was going through x y and z but today I'm, I'm better you know like I want to get better I truly do because it's just crazy like I really thought this was the person I was gonna marry <laughs> even though being like even though he was like such an ass and stuff like that I really did and it's just you know and I'm basically I don't, I think I'm more sad I don't know though like I might I'm not I'm sad as fuck because like why did you have to cheat on me but I don't know but at the same time I feel like it was coming because I felt like once I moved out you know, like, I was, once I moved out, I figured we were still going to be together. Like, in my head, I was going to move out. We still was going to be together. You know, we were just going to work and stuff like that. But in the back of my head, I was like, but once I move out, I don't think it's going to be no effort put into, like, you know, trying to go, you know, and just make it better. So, I think that's why my body's so numb and I'm not as crying as hard because it's like I knew it was coming. But at the same time, it didn't have to end the way it ended, though. Like, before, before he cheated on me, he could have just been, like, on some... Like, I've been with this bitch for seven years, like, for six years. You know, let me just tell her, like, bitch, I don't like you no more. I don't love you. I want you to get my house, you know. And then, you know, you go cheat. <laughs> and also, I think I'm, and also I feel a little, a little better because I'm not in the same apartment as him anymore. Like, I don't have to see, I don't, you know, I don't have to live with the, the hurt, the cheat. You know, like the dissect, the, that D word, the deceptiveness. <laughs> I can't say it, but the D word, like, you know, like. It's just crazy. But I do I do have to, like, cut a lot of stuff off, though. Like, especially, like, me. Like, damn, like, that was the only penis I had for six years. I have to learn how to cut my vagina off from that. Like, I have to learn how to like somebody new. I have to learn how to, you know, not be in a fuck niggas attitude. Because niggas ain't shit right now. Like, I don't want to be a man hater. I don't want to be bitter. <laughs> you know, like, this is crazy. And I'm like, I can't, I just can't, I don't have no, I don't even, I can't release it, can't have sex with nobody, I don't have, just nothing, like, all I have is my car, on some real shit, that's all I got, and I'm thankful I got this before we broke up, because, because who was really going to help me for real, like, and I know, I don't know shit about cars, I'm thankful I even got my tags, like, and that was a doozy, like, my tire pressure is low now. For one, I don't have no change. Like, I'm broke as fuck. Like, and I'm also fucking mad that every time I separate, I'm always coming out of money. Like, I have no money. I'm swiping my credit card, like, back and forth, like, on some maxing it out type of thing. Like, this is crazy. 
Like, I don't know. I don't know what to do with the car. I don't know what a title. I don't even have my title. My title got to get mailed to this house. I hope that he will give me my title. I really hope that he give me my, t like, TV stand. I hope that he, like, get off my phone bill. Like, I'm hurt. You know, like, I need him to, you know, go and give me, give me something. Like, because, you know, like, and it was crazy. People keep asking me, like, has he called? Has he texted? And I'm just like, no, that's just not him. You know, like, that's just not something he do or whatever. And it's just crazy because I'm, I'm literally starting all over again. <laughs> like, I'm literally starting from point A to point B, which is it's crazy. Like, I know I'm not alone, but I'm alone. Like, I'm by myself in this world. Like, if my car breaks down or something, like, who I'm going to call to help me get my car to, like, X, Y, and Z? Like, who I'm going to call to look under my car? I'm going to have to, like, I literally have to start all over. Like, I'm literally a new part, like, not a new person just yet, but I'm literally, like, by myself like i was dependent on him for like most like more manly stuff like man stuff i was depending on him for a lot of stuff so i ain't gonna lie i ain't gonna lie and that's why it's like weird now it's like wow i'm starting over i'm starting over which is okay <laughs> it's okay it's just like wow I'm, I'm literally like starting over and i'm by myself <laughs> It's just all these epiphanies and realizations and, you know, checking yourself. It's just, it's nice, though. Like, it's kind of nice. Like, for my next relationship, like, I hope I heal good enough to have a strong one, you know. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that I want to be in a relationship as soon as I heal. Like, I, I want to go back to my whole phase because, you know, I was in the middle of my whole phase and then I met my ex-boyfriend. <laughs> And then next thing you know, I was just, I lost myself in this relationship. And long story short is that I lost myself. And I didn't have, and I didn't have nobody there to like get me out because who knew I was losing myself? Nobody but me, but at the time I, I didn't even know. How could I know? I was just in love. <laughs> in love. Love. and I'm also sorry too because I left so much like I left all my petty stuff like all my Miss Goggins towels all my dishes all my seasonings like comforter says like and, you know, and I was thinking about this last night like before I went to sleep when I was when when, when he was stalking me <laughs> I think he was just stalking me because he didn't want me to break his stuff but I wasn't gonna break his stuff that's just not me but I did want to write bitch on the tv doing a permanent black marker but as I was looking at his eyes I don't know what I was looking at I don't know if I was looking at hurt or if I was looking at fake love or if I was just looking at somebody who was just like, all right, bitch, you done crying so you can hurry up and get out of my apartment. Like, you ever just like, you know, sometimes you can look at somebody's eyes and you can just be like, oh, like they really do care. Or like if they drunk, you can tell. Or if they slow, you can just tell like in their eyes. And, and when I was looking at his eyes, I just, I didn't see or feel anything. Like, you know, it looked like it was sad. But, you know, was it really hurt though? You know? So that's, so that's been kind of like, you know, giving me, not even motivation, but but a little encouragement to get over it. Because it's just like, you the only one that's hurting, you know. And I know, and I know I'm going to get over it. But I just feel like, let me go through what I want to go through. <laughs> let me feel what I want to feel. Let me cry what I want to cry. Just let me do me. Let me heal how I want to heal. You know, like, I don't want to be healing forever. <laughs> but it was, well, and I'm, it was so crazy that I got cheated on during the pandemic. Bitch could have gave me COVID. <laughs> Bitch could have had me sick. Bitch could have had me in the hospital on some shit, though, because you wanted to fucking cheat. Damn. Bitch could have got a pocket pussy. Bitch could have did anything. Bitch could have broke up with me before. Bitch cheated. Bitch could have did a lot of shit, but no. Bitch said, fuck you, bitch. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you, bitch. That's what he said to me in so many words. Instead of breaking up with my bitch ass. Or coming to me and being like, ho, it's it's over with. It's through. But like I said, today, I'm done rambling. <laughs> but today is the day that I'm actually going to get up, work out, 
and be myself today. I'm gonna be sad still though, but I'm gonna feel my emotions. Hopefully, I get some, some bud. You know, and I've been trying to like stay out of my head, like racing and stuff. I've been trying to find like little apps, like calm apps, and this one corny app, which is about to go called N Words or something. It's not even a real person, it's a robot, <laughs> whatever. But I do use it for like my brain farts, but you know, like my brain thought dump or whatever. But I might as well just keep using this. So, till then, I'm out this bitch. <laughs> but pray for me though, because today my first day back at work in like five days so you know you ever cried in the mask because i have it's terrible so hopefully i won't be crying in my mask or nothing and hopefully i won't have to hear a small talk about her covid or anything because my co-worker love to talk about that shit and i don't give a fuck i mean i care about COVID because it's real stuff but bitch i don't want to hear that shit every day like i got other shit like getting off 118 for one like damn i'm back on that bitch <laughs> but yeah hmm